This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV. As we continue our coverage of Lawyernomics 2013, I am joined by Avo founder and CEO, Mark Britton. Just came out of an excellent session on turning 10 legal marketing challenges into opportunities. Let's talk about two of those. One of those being confusing social media efforts with outbound marketing. Can you elaborate a little bit on where lawyers kind of miss the point there? Yeah, I think the issue is that lawyers have grown up in this 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 age. Um, even you know, legal marketing's only been legal in the last thirty years, and so when they first were able to market, it was all that kind of billboard or just outbound marketing of. I'm a great lawyer, you should hire me. That's the message uh, that they had learned. And there wasn't a lot of creativity that came with that. Um, inbound marketing is where you give something of value so that people, so that someone gets a positive brand impression about you as an attorney, your expertise, your services, et cetera. So maybe it's an ebook, maybe it's a blog post, maybe it's a, a going out and speaking at a conference, maybe it's giving an interview just like this. And in fact, I mean, Lexblog, one of the things that I love that Lexblog preaches is it's all about you got to engage. If you're going to a blog, you have to truly engage. So that's what we're looking for is some level of engagement so that people understand that you're a good lawyer rather than you just being the dancing guy of I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, the Yellow Pages model. And so what we're seeing in social media is that a lot of lawyers, they're so locked in the outbound I'm great type of marketing that they'll have the Facebook page, they'll have the blog post, they'll have the Twitter account, and they'll just be hammering people with advertisements about their firm. That's not engagement. That's not social interaction. I mean, it's called social media for a reason. And second, you talked about one of the things that people often ignore because nobody's really on there, and that's, that's Google+. Plus. It kind of looms out there, but it's becoming increasingly more important. Why is Google+, Plus becoming more and more important, and, and how can lawyers tackle you know, another social presence that they have to deal with? Well, it's interesting. I think Google Plus is becoming more important because of some of the lack of success that Google Plus has had in the past. So Google Plus is, uh, was created as a Facebook competitor. That's why they originally created it. However, to catch up with to Facebook, and at the time they launched Google Plus, they were probably at six or seven hundred million registered users. They're now over a billion. But um, they had to do something, they had to leverage their strengths. And one of those strengths that they leveraged was integrating Google Plus into their local search results. Uh, really all of their search results, but where you really see it with lawyers is those local search results. Uh, when you have what used to be called the seven pack, or just now it can be shorter or longer, but a number of local goods and services that Google are saying these are close by to you. Well, they're putting a picture, uh, uh, they're putting Google Plus accounts right at the top of those search results with a picture of the lawyer that uh, is in their Google Plus uh, profile. And so it's important because they're being so aggressive in integrating their local and universal search with Google Plus and, you know, just being very direct, they're biasing towards those Google Plus accounts um, for someone who is searching for legal services. And so, you know, they control, what, 65% of search? So if you think Google's important, Google Plus is important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Once again, that was Mark Britton, founder and CEO of Avo. For more of our video interviews from Lawyernomics 2013 with presenters like Mark and also with sponsors and, and attendees as well, visit us at lxbn.com. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Colin.